Hello and welcome to the video on the second experimental design which is a randomized block design. Okay and this is an improvement this is an improvement on our completely randomized design. Completely randomized experiment I should say. Okay and and I'll kind of go over this and, and, and show you um, an example and then I'll show you one of these and completely randomize the experiment and block on it to show you that it is actually better to block when you can. So let's talk about blocks. When groups of experimental units are similar, are similar, if we group them together the group is called a block. By blocking we decrease the variability within each group which allows us to detect differences caused by the treatments more clearly. Okay, so what does that actually mean and when, when how should you pick uh, these similar units? So, so what happens here is we have this population. We have this population, okay, and we're going to get we're going to take this sample, okay. We're going to take this sample. Now, this sample could be taken as an SRS, or they just could be volunteers, okay. They could be volunteers. So, so what happens here is we have um, we're doing an experiment, and that and those experiment has uh, some factors, and it has the response. Okay, so so basically, what we want to do is we want to block. We want to block on factors. Or, I'm sorry, we want to block on characteristics. Characteristics that may influence the response. that are not included as a factor already. Okay? So we want to block on characteristics that may influence the response, okay, that are not included as a factor. Okay? So so there's these it's, it's kind of like we want to block on these other factors, these other factors that may influence this response, okay, or it might even influence this factor, okay, but are not this factor. So, so for example, um, you know, a few years back they had um, a study on arthritis, I'm not sure if there's an R there, but arthritis, yeah, okay, for dogs, okay, so let's say we had this hundred dogs. We had a hundred dogs, okay, and they were basically testing the new drug, okay, versus um, the old drug, and for reasons uh, I didn't get into is they don't necessarily need a placebo because dogs don't have the placebo effect. I'm going to do a video on a placebo effect, but anyways, you have 100 dogs, and we have two treatments, okay? Okay, so what we want to do is put 50 of the dogs up here and do the new drug. We want to randomly put 50 for the old. Now, what system, What? which design was this? This is our old design. That's a completely randomized experiment. Now, what happens is to improve it, to improve it, we want to create groups, okay, that are similar, that, that may be another factor that might, that may have something to do with the arthritis that's not, that has nothing to do with the drugs, okay, because the drugs are already in the treatment groups. So what, what I might do, and this is what we call it, we could say, we block on breed. We block on breed. So what that means is we want to make 
we, okay, we want to separate, separate the hundred dogs by breed. Okay, so I don't know how many breeds there are going to be, but I'm going to take these hundred dogs and I'm going to do, these are my blocks now. These are considered blocks. This is going to be breed one. This is my second block. That's block one. This is my second block, which will be breed two. This will be my third one, which will be breed three. Now, if you now if you look at this, th this makes a lot more sense because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take breed one, and I'm going to go ahead and get breed one, dr the new drug, and I'm going to give breed one the old drug. Now make sure that you're still assigning these breeds in here. Um, randomly okay I'm gonna give breed two both the new and the old and I'm gonna give breed three the new and the old so let's see why this is better why this one is better so then what we're gonna do is compare all these we're gonna compare okay so let, let's see why this is different if you have a hundred dogs and there's 50 of them are getting the new all these 50 okay are different breeds and different breeds may have d different uh, reactions to this drug like for example larger dogs might have more hip problems than smaller dogs okay and so you can see there's a lot of variety with these 50 now we hope that the randomization evens out these differences but to get around that is we could just create these blocks where everybody is the same so when I get done with this I know that this new and the old got compared to the same breed okay so that decreases my variability within my blocks okay and it allows me to see these differences the differences are going to be more f more because of the new and the old drug and not necessarily because of these differences between these breeds okay so that's a form of blocking I'm going to show you a few more examples later in another video um, in a different type of situation that you know is asked a lot okay so thanks for watching